kids' classroom set up a kind of presentation so that you can perform it. And it's so uh, if it's not going to be really formal, formal, just for the internet. And it, uh, you can ask a question anytime. If you feel like you are getting lost, you just raise up your hand or like just the question. You don't need to wait until the end of the presentation because you forget. So anytime you feel you're not following, please raise up your hand. Anytime you feel that you can hear any more support people, it's being very, very soft. Just also raise up your hand for adjust the question. Okay. So I will just do the introduction here and then and then we will take over and do the rest. For, for those who are members, what is what is to to us who are members?
to be a member of EMN, you just need three things. A working cell phone number, a working bank account, and a working email. So those are the three things that you need to be able to register as a member in MMM. And then the process of, the process of joining. Uh, we join online. So there's a website, you can see it's there. And then you go there, when you click join, it, it, it shows up a page where you can fill your details, the cell phone number, the email address, uh, the, your guidance, or it's something who affect you, and your guidance details there. <coughs> and then, okay, also the password on the page, you also put your password, that you will be using when you are logging in on your MMM. Uh, personal office. Oh, I just covered everything. <laughs> okay, but basically those are the things that you fill there. Your name, uh, your cell phone number, your email address. It will also ask for your password and then it will also ask for the person's email, the person that's affect you and then also your guidance in the end. The, the, cell phone number. <clears throat> then once you are a member, uh, you will then have to add your banking details before you pledge providing assistance. The reason for that is that um, if you provide help and then they will, they will come a time whereby you say you are asking for help. Then for some people who is helping you, you have to have banking details well, so that it might be used as a direct to your bank account. <clears throat> and then after registering and then putting your banking details, you will have to, to declare the willingness to provide help of whatever amount you are willing to provide from as little as 100 rand to any amount that you are willing to provide help with. And then the system will then assign somebody. Okay, there's a waiting period first where you'll be waiting. It used to be four to six weeks and then it came down to 21 days. Now it's about two weeks. Now we don't even know what the waiting period is. So it's very important to have the money that you say, I'm willing to help with this money. You mustn't wait. Providing a thousand or something like that. <clears throat> and then when your, time, when your time comes to provide help, the system will give you a person to help. The system will give you a person that will be assisting. And when you log into your personal office, you will find a person with the details like the telephone number the banking details, uh, the telephone number of the guy of the person that should when the guy who finally phone or who contacted you have all those details. <clears throat> um, so when you log in, there's this, there will be two tabs, the one that says provide help and the one that says get help. So in short, when you provide help, that's when you'll be making a deposit to a person that you are helping. And when you go to the other one and get help, in short, it's like a withdrawing. So when you have provided help and then you have that particular amount that you need assistance with and which you qualify for, then you will go for, go, for get help and then it's the system will assign somebody to assist you with that amount. <clears throat> and then when you have uh, assisted a member, as they were already said, you, you get a reward of 80% of that amount that you have assisted with. <clears throat> okay. Uh, when you are getting help, 
This is when a member request it's like a withdrawal. So you say, okay, I provided help last month or the other month, then now I think I need assistance of a thousand or whatever amount that you qualify for. Then you are getting help. So getting help is like withdrawal and then providing help it's where you'll be making a deposit. <coughs> so in the MMM, um, in your personal office, so man, I don't put the words deposit. That money, by visa, I'm a Yeah. So it's like, as such, we say, right? My smartphones are equivalent to a land. So if you have provided a thousand rand, you will have one thousand marbles. So uh, when you, you, you request, you are able to go into your personal office and check how much or how many marbles that you have. So you are able to request all of them or parts of them at any time. So as you see, you always said, which is not an investment or whatever, you can put your money today and say, you know, I'm not waiting for 30 days to get a 30%. I need my money now, then you can get help and get your money now. All of it, half of it, or whatever amount that you can withdraw. And then, it works like this. When you are getting help, somebody else also pledged to provide help. So remember, this is taking money is rotating amongst the other members. So when you are getting help, you are giving an opportunity to somebody else who wants to provide help so that we keep the system uh, working early on them. <coughs> and then this table uh, is just to give us an idea. It doesn't mean what it will be always like this. It, it, it's just to guide us. So, um, but um, in the banks, terms are determined by the central banks. So there are those people who just sit there and decide what should happen in the banks. But in MMM, we as the members decide what happens in MMM. So we are not operating as a bank. <coughs> Uh, in banks, banks keep your money, but in MMM, the money remains with you, or it remains with us as members. So, the banks uh, keep our monies and they do whatever that we don't know what they are doing with our monies, but in MMM, you know that what happens to your money. <laughs> banks charges you for keeping your money, and that's the sad part. When you put your money in the bank, they charge you. When you take it out, they charge you. But in the MMM, you just uh, put your money there and there are no charges. What you get is only the rewards. So here, uh, these are the growth uh, interest percentages with the banks. When you put your money in the bank, you can only get 0.47 to about 4.75 growth within your, with your money. But in the MMM, you get 30% reward in, in, in 30 days. So when you put 1,000, you get 300 in 30 days. So that's how it works. <coughs> um, in terms of financial need, banks will offer loans as high as 27%. We all know that when you invest, they give you just a, just a bit of interest, but when you take a loan, that fell. So that's what happens. But with MMM, you get help anytime without uh, being charged anything. So in the bank, when you say you are investing this 10,000, you will have to tell them for how long you invest in that money and you don't know what you will do with your money during that particular period. But with MMM you can donate your money and the following day or the following week you decide, you know, I want my money or what 
my mind then you will get your money. So that's the difference between MMM and the banks. <coughs>
requested to be unlocked. Someone who was blocked today requested to be unlocked, and two days down the line they are unlocked because the reasons are different as well. Okay. And the support also looks at cases, and they have to look at cases because then it means it's going to mess up the whole community if people are just going to come and decide not to pay in their pay. So it's case to case, and there's a long queue as well. Okay, I'm noting you, Nisi. Yes, what I wanted to find out, uh, I did sign up about that. The thing is, um, the bad points, how does that work? The telephone can be able to work with one because I'm going to do a second session in one place. I'm going to do a comprehensive session in one place. Uh, what time is it? Now. Oh, now? Oh. Yes, yes. I'm going okay. to do a comprehensive session. So we actually um, split up. This presentation was mainly supposed to be for big coins. Mm -hmm. But because it's combined for us to start talking about NMM and what we need to do, because we had to do a brief presentation of NMM and then you speak to people in this country. And another question. Tell me, can you sign uh, underage kids home as well? And then as a parent, you handle it? Yeah, you can. Yes. In, 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 in fact, if you are a manager, mm -hmm. your child could make you a trustee. Meaning, you could be able to operate your child's account from your office, from your own NMM. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. So it is not just a trust. I actually wanted to ask them to be the trustee. Okay, so another question that I thought is this, which happens in the example, where I was to create someone, okay. and that person did not confirm, okay, I can go to the support and so on. And then what I got a message that seems to be I heard you said you pressed the button on the side. So I did not know what was due to that person. Because I did not know about that. It was proof of pain and that. And I said that you were supporting that. And I said that you were supporting that. So it means that I said that you were supporting that. Okay, there's space to do things. When someone attaches a fake proof of pain, or when the other person decides to not to want to pay for whatever reason, you write to support them. So I suppose support that state, they will confirm for you, so your personal office will be fine. Mm -hmm. But they won't work you. But they will they will apply it in out. Okay. So because when he refuses to confirm, because I think that you need to tell your story just now. When he refuses to pay and when he I did not receive money, the support immediately allocate that person um, another person to pay. And they won't work you why? Because you have to so they have to investigate. So once they find that you no, know, this person was lying after the investigation, they apply it or not. So meaning if this person was trying to cook you one thousand from his marbles, mm -hmm. one thousand will be will be will be subtracted. In fact, when they log in their office, they will see they took the routine, you've got penalty for so much so much. Yeah, because they can't just well, well, what is the support seems <laughs> So the only support is we don't really have a support office that we can walk to. We mm -hmm. operate it online. Mm -hmm. Everything is online. Yeah. And another thing, the consultant that I told the system, yes, who were always willing to provide help. But when you send this in the consultant agencies, they don't come back. They don't respond. Yeah. Okay, you know the consultation, yeah. We so many consultants. And you are giving hours a day. Maybe they say, um, I'm giving you 24 hours to work. Then you say to them, I do not work eight. Okay. So it happens that within the eight, between six and nine, all of them are offline. Can you see the danger of that? Or that the only that's when you, you are assuming that you are communicating because the then all of them disappear. And then you, you, you send this question to this person. Can they be allocated time, not just saying you're giving 24 hours, 